If you own a late 80s to mid 1990s Mercedes Benz, this is a video alert specifically for you. I am holding in my hand a part which I am seeing an increasing rate of failure on. And when this fails, it can cause some real problems, leading to even some catastrophic engine issues if this problem isn't fixed. So let me explain what this part is and the problem that I'm seeing showing up on it. This is the coolant heater which goes inside your window washer fluid tank. You can recognize if your car has this because you'll be able to see uh, two heater hoses going into the top of the cap on the tank on your car. Uh, coolant comes in, one end of the coil goes down, heats the, fl the washer fluid and then goes back out. At the end here is a thermostat control valve which will shut down uh, the flow of coolant when it reaches a certain temperature in the tank. The problem is twofold and I'm going to zoom in here and show you this in more detail. Coolant leaks can occur right here where the coil goes into the plastic housing at either of these two locations. Removing this bolt will allow you to pull the thermostat housing away from the coil ends and if you look closely here you'll see there's a couple o-rings. In fact this one the o-ring seal has been damaged. The other place that these can leak is right out the end here of the thermostat. If this occurs, you will have some issues to deal with. Uh, you, you've got the option of replacing the whole unit here, which is fairly expensive. Um, you might try sourcing. I have not been able to find replacement seals, but you might try sourcing O-rings that you can put on the ends of these coils and get a good tight seal back on the housing. Uh, the other thing you can do is just go out and buy a used unit. And finally, sometimes I've been able, this bolt just loosens up and you're able to just get in there, tighten the bolt up, and if the seals aren't damaged, that's gonna fix the leak problem right there. So what happens when there's leaks in this heater coil? Well, one of two things can happen. You can get hot engine coolant in your window washer fluid or you can get window washer fluid in the cooling system of your engine. So that, this is something you don't want to ignore. If you have one of these cars that has this unit, you should check it out and do it soon. And how do you know if it's leaking? Well, it's kind of hard, particularly if it's leaking into your cooling system. You really can't tell just visually. But if it's leaking into your window washer tank, you will see some signs showing up on your windshield, especially when you use those squirters. You'll get some streaking, you'll notice it, it won't dry off and it'll have kind of an oily, greasy feel. So if you start seeing any signs of weirdness when you're using your window squirters, then check out for that leak. Now, what about buying a new part? Well, that's pretty expensive and you have to go to the dealer. I'm not gonna give up on trying to find uh, a source of seals for this unit because I've been able to repair this myself on two occasions. Sometimes it's just too bad and you have to replace the whole unit. So check out my website on current availability of these seals if you find that yours need replacement.